Hello, this is Taito Manabe. Thank you so much for inviting me to Sonari. Sonari is my favorite festival. So it is a real shame that I couldn't go to Barcelona to play live and give a lecture or see the works of many different people and enjoy music. But again, I appreciate you to all for this great opportunity. Today I'm going to talk about a prototype that I'm currently working on and show you some test videos. My interest is what's in people's mind when they are listening to sound or music. Some would like to dance or others would imagine visuals in their mind. Resonant Imaginary, which I premiered at last year's Sonar, is the first project that I created with this concept. I used a technique called brain recording done by Dr. Yukias Kamitani from Kyoto University. It is a technique that analyzes the pattern of human brain activity to read mind states or even dreams. I use this technique to reconstruct the images that came into my head while listening to music and I integrated the process of reconstruction into my performance. This experience got me wondering if it is possible to generate human motion and choreography from your brain by analyzing the patterns of brain activity. Due to the COVID-19 situation, it is not easy to conduct experiments, but here I prepared some videos and prototypes to explain this concept. Thank you. When you imagine the pose in your head, how does the activity of the brain change? And by analyzing that activity, is it possible to retrieve the pose and choreographic information in your brain from the outside? If you can reconstruct the pose and choreography from analyzing the brain activity, you can move your virtual body just by imagining it in your mind. Even if you don't actually move your body or even if you can't dance, Pose data here is made up with the size of bones and the angle of rotation of the joints. Muscle information isn't included here, so you need myoelectric sensors, not a camera, to handle that kind of information. Although this is simplified data without toe joint and such, there are 89 joints in total and information relating to each of them. Although the data is simplified, its dimensionality is still quite high, so we also try to treat it as two or three dimensional information by applying dimensionality reduction processing, such as Tisney and UMAP. Such processing makes it easy to analyze and classify both data. It is used to be difficult to collect both data, but now, thanks to improvements of machine learning techniques, you can collect them in markerless without wearing motion capture suit, which made it easy to generate choreographic data as well. from pose to motion. Let's define motion as a transition from one pose to another. This is different from the motion of industrial robots, which prioritize power consumption and stability. 
Motion for Dance Ignores Efficiency Appealing dance utilizes motion that goes against gravity or the law of inertia and motion that pushes the limit of the range of joint motion. Steps, waves, and turns can also be seen as motions. Various motions are not only created in terms of human sense of aesthetics, but also inspired by imitation of nature and application of geometry. from pose and motion to choreography. Choreography could be thought as a combination of still poses and motion transitioning from one pose to another. Combination of poses and transition between them creates the choreography. And making its choreography reactive to sound is creating dance. But it is just the basics, like Michiko, who translates the lyrics into choreography to match the sound. Choreographers develop different techniques and methods. When creating choreography while listening to music, what does a choreographer have in their mind? Creating choreography with intensity as an expression relates not only to musical and visual expression, but also to animal and physiological sense to great extent, and therefore cannot be easily generated by machine learning. However, our future work with dancers and choreographers is an attempt to collect large data set and generate choreography from it. New dances could be created by brain decoding technologies. And from now, I would like to show you the test video that demonstrates dance made in an unusual way, assuming that the brain decoding technology enables dance data generation. Please enjoy noises and glitches generated by distracting thoughts in the brain and a dance piece without constraints of the real bodies such as gravity and the limits of the range of joint motion.
Yeah.